There's another one in Proverbs. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. We're still talking about etiquette and behavior patterns and, yeah, and little cliches and expressions that are nuggets of profound truth. There's a scripture in Proverbs that describes a woman. Mm, mm, mm. You know, some women have a mouth on them. Excuse me. That is as annoying as a loud barking dog that won't shut up. Check it out. I've seen women do this. I don't know why they do it, but I've seen them do it. They love to bring up things about their husband that gets on their nerves. And they think it's cute conversation. But they don't see the expression on the husband's face while they're saying these things. Well, you know, they always do that. They That's why they get on my nerves. And they could be laughing while they say it. But guess what? That's not anybody else's business. That's for you and your husband to discuss in private. Discuss. Not hoop and holler about not indict them for, have them arrested, judged, and crucified all at the same time. That's to be discussed for a better understanding. Um, When you get in, I don't care if it's all family, family, distant relatives, friends, church members, private group, whatever. All those little things that your husband does, that gets on your nerves, and you men, all those things your wife does or doesn't do that gets on your nerves should never be aired in public. Never be aired in public. You ever hear the expression, another expression, if you can't say anything nice, say nothing at all. Zip the lip. And throw away the key. Sometimes you have no idea how you chip away at a person's at a person's core being with those little those little remarks, those little joking digs. Your little sense of humor. I was just joking. Right. They know you're not joking, and you know you're not joking. And guess what? So do the people listening to you. They'll laugh it off. They'll play it off. Oh, you're so crazy. Oh, they know. Like, wow, boy, I don't know why they got together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zip the lip. Don't be so quick to put your loved one down. That is not love. Love edifies. Love believes all things, hopes all things. I mean, it, it, love, uh, love covers a multitude of sin. Doesn't expose it. Love covers it. <laughs> That's our secret. Not for the world to know. I had ways. My husband had ways. We didn't go around our friends complaining about our ways. Now I might say, oh, I'm so tired. Sometimes I wish Milton would sleep more because he calls me too much. That's, that's a physical thing. That is nothing about anything wrong with him as a person. That was all based on his physical need. He was very dependent because he couldn't walk. He was 100% blind. He was incontinent. And he was on dialysis. I mean, he had all strikes against him. I was there for him. No matter how much you're there for somebody, you do get tired. But I never got tired of him. So my point to you is, be careful how you present, how you uh, picture, paint a picture of the one you married, male or female. Be careful how you paint that picture when you're out in public. Because you have no idea how you make them feel. 
or make them look in other people's eyes. After you've complained, you can forgive them the next hour. But some of the people around that has heard what's come out of your mouth may have total disrespect for that person afterwards. Is that what you really want? Last question on that one. Do you really love them or not?